Welcome back to the Crochet Cradles. Those are my friends at yarnspirations.com. Today is episode three of the Snowflake Fro. In this episode, we're going to concentrate on the next several rounds to be able to do this. We're going to pick up on round number three. If you're just seeing this video, we've already done rounds one and two in the joining area. And what we have is that everything has been put together. I blocked it. It's a little damp in some spots, as you can see here. So it's a nice, easy uh, formation for the next several rounds. And we want to start off in the chain two corner space of the uh, here. This is the short side, this is the long side, and you're going to choose the color that you feel like, and that's where we're going to pick up next. So let's begin, and you're going to start off in a chain two corner space, and you can start just like this. So we're going to start with a, a single crochet with a single crochet, so we're just going to put it on, pull through, pull through two, that's your single crochet. The corners of this round are always going to be one single crochet, chain two, one single, one single crochet. So now we, what we have to do is we have to start in the very beginning and we're just going to use the regular stitch work now and just work our way all the way around. So it's just again, single crochet and it's nice and easy. So when you get to the next corner, just single crochet, chain two, single crochet, and I'll see you at the end of this row. This is number or round. This is number three. So I'm coming around to number three and I'm just taking it all the back, way back to where I started. So I'm just going to single crochet into the first space and then chain two and then join with the single crochet. So this will be it for this color and I'm going to take you back to the pattern now because the next several rounds are exactly this. It's just a different color sequence and I'll point it out in the pattern for you. The next several rounds, four through 10, are exactly what I just showed you. The next round is going to be color A. The one after that is C, D, C, A, B, A. And that will end you at the round number 10. And on the very last color, do not fasten off. So just do exactly what I just showed you and just go through the color sequence. I'm just using spare yarn here today on my example. So I'm just gonna throw out the colors that I think this should be. And I'll see you on round number 11 in just a moment. When I last left you, I was way down here and I completed all the way to row number 10. So it actually looks like ribbon, so candy ribbon all the way around. You're not supposed to fasten off at the end, but I'm a special kind of stupid that I did it anyway because I wasn't thinking about it. So I'm going to be kicking off with round number 11 using the color A, which is the same color as the row below. So let's begin number 11. So let's begin round number 11. So I'm going to start off in the corner. If you didn't uh, fasten off, then you just have to go to the corner and then start. You're going to notice in round number 11 and also round number 13, there is an imbalance of the corner itself. So there's in the corners, it's double crochet. There's two double crochet, chain two, one double crochet. And because of that imbalance, it makes those snowballs line up properly. So when you go to start this, you're just gonna start in the corner. If you didn't uh, fasten off, just immediately chain three once you're in the corner. If you did fasten off like I did, just attach it and then chain three. And now put another double crochet in and then you can officially turn. So chain two and then a double crochet in. So the corners are imbalanced. So starting in the first um, ones here, we're going to begin and we're, this is part of the repeat going all the way across each side. Each side has the same amount of stitch work. The only difference is that there's more stitches, but it's the same balance of stitches. So the first two are always going to be a double crochet each. And then it says to do a pop stitch, which is short for popcorn. And Jesse has it defined as four double crochet into the same stitch. So we have one, two, two, three, and four. Once you have that done, release it and go to the first one of the grouping of four, go through the front to the back, put the loop on and pull through. Now I prefer to chain one after to hold that popcorn in position. It doesn't say to do that in the pattern, but when I come into round number 12, I'll show you how to deal with that. So now the next five are just gonna each be a double crochet by itself. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. Now, the next one is another popcorn. 
So you're gonna repeat this going all the way across. And if your stitch counts are right, we're gonna uh, end up in the second stitch before the end of each side. And if you don't, we can always fudge it, right? So I'm gonna chain one to lock it. So do that. So just continue five by itself, then a popcorn, then five by itself and so on. And I'll see you at the first turn to make sure that you're doing that properly. And I'll show you how to fudge too. So I'm coming to my first corner. I have my five in here. The next one is a pop. So I have two stitches, but the next one is a pop because I'm keeping in sequence. And I'm gonna show you how to cheat the system just in case this happens to you. So my stitch counts are right, but you may not be. And so I'm gonna do the pop chain one, and then I'm going to double crochet into the last one and then turn my corner. So as I told you, the corners are not balanced. So the corner is two, double crochet to start, chain two, and then one double crochet, and then you immediately start again. So it's two double crochets, pop, and then five, pop, I pop and then you will finish the same way. So Jesse has this so that each one of the sides are equal as far as how the repeats are working. Now what happens if you got here, and I'm just gonna pull out an extra stitch, just pretend there was five here, and you have an extra stitch left over. What I would do is that, okay, I'm gonna use the next two as a popcorn. So I'm just going to double crochet the next one. And then I'm gonna put three into the next. So we have one, two and three and then just release it and go to the first double crochet that was by itself and then put it here and then chain one and then you have the one before the end so it's a way of cheating the system but i would be very cautious to make sure that you do have fives because it's very possible that you only might have done four and therefore this is out of sequence so keep an eye on that but it's a great way to be able to cheat the system just in case this happens to you and it's a way to repair your work without having to frog everything back from scratch. So hopefully this tip helps and I will see you at the end of the round. And this is round number 11. I'm coming around on the end of number 11. So there's one double crochet. The beginning corner is already done. So just slip stitch to the top of the chain three. And then to continue along, just slip stitch to the next chain two space. And we're going to begin round number 12 next. Round number 12, just simply single crochet around. So just chain up one and single crochet, chain two and single crochet into the space and all the corners are gonna be the same. So single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Let me show you how to deal with that chain one that we put in it as an extra. So you're just gonna single crochet in each one of the stitches. So you're just gonna come across and we eventually are going to hit a popcorn, which is next. So this here is the top of the popcorn. This is the chain one. Skip that chain one right here. So just go into the popcorn, skip that chain one, and just focus on the next five double crochet. And you're gonna do that all the way around. So if you put one extra in that chain one, you'll end up with the wrong counts. So we just come across. So we come into this one. That's the popcorn. Skip the chain one and then start in the next double crochet. So do this all the way around. The corners are one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet, and this is round number 12. I'm coming around on number 12 and just putting in my single crochets as I know it. I've already got my first corner done, so I'm just gonna slip stitch to the first single crochet. And now to move on to the next corner, just slip stitch on over, and we're gonna begin round number 13 next. Let's begin round number 13. There is also an imbalance of the corners here. So we're going to just chain three and double crochet back into the same corner. Chain two and double crochet just one time. So the corners going forward on this one are two double crochet, chain two, one double crochet. So we're going to begin and here is the starting for each side. And remember the sides are imbalanced with each other. So it's the same thing on all sides and you're gonna double crochet into the next stitch, and then you're gonna popcorn into the next stitch after that. So there's four double crochets that make that up. You're gonna get that done, and you're just gonna put this on, pull through, chain one, that's my ad lib, and now the next five are going to be a double crochet each. We have one, two, 
three, four, and five. And now the next one is the next popcorn here. So we're gonna put in the four, and then you just release it and go to the first. So then the next five will then be the double crochet and then a popcorn. You'll continue this all the way. And Sorry to interrupt today's broadcast. So I have done my first one inch there and then I did here. So there's the popcorn, then there's five, and then the popcorn. I misread the instructions just moments ago. So when you get all the way to the other side of the corner, you're going to have your repeating and I'll have the popcorn. The stitch before the corner is one double crochet and then you'll turn your corner of two double crochet, chain two, one double crochet, and then continue again. So that's how you'll complete this all the way around. This is round number 13. I'm at the end of number 13 and I'm just putting my last double crochet in. I've already started the corner when I started, so I'm just going to slip stitch. And to begin the next round, just slip stitch to the next chain two space and then begin. So the remaining of this section for today's video is a repeat of what we already know. We use video chapters. You can open that in the video description. And let me just go back to the pattern now and show you what's going on. Going back to the pattern, we have rounds number 14, 15, and 16. 14 and 15 is the same as rounds number 12 and 13. And then you have round number 16, which is the same as number 12. So you're essentially doing rounds number 12 and 13 and 12 again, and this is where we'll end up. And round 17 is the next video in the future. So we're going to continue this 14, 15, and 16. Please do that now. Scroll back if you need that extra help, and this will be the end of today's tutorial. And I'll see you next time as we pick up round number 17 all the way to the end for the final of this series.